Hey, it's Big Mink with Koningsberg Properties, and today is our part one of the new PC build for my business. And my son actually picked this. This is a GR1 in white. I'm going to open it up so you can take a quick gander at it. So I just got the top of the box open up and as you can see this thing is huge. This is going to be my third PC build and my first one was just to, to see if I can build one. My second one was a pretty high-end gaming computer and this one's going to be using mainly for my business for video editing and it is huge. I'm going to pull it out of the box. So I got this monster of the case out of the box and it is packaged very very well. There's no signs of any type of damage with this. I appreciate that. And it comes with a nice owner's manual and it looks like some cables and cable management items. So that's a very nice, very nice, but it's huge. Look how big that is. So this is the desktop without the plastic covering. It is big. It reminds me of a computer out of a Star Wars movie or something. It has your front panel here with where you can hook up all your necessities. What's cool about these five and a, five and a half inch slots right here, they simply pop out. You can install whatever you want. Real simple. Let's go to the back panel real quick. And you have a fan, your slots, and for the power supply very simple very efficient very huge i'm going to open her up and let's take a look inside of her so i just took the side panel off to take a look on the inside so first thing i notice is that we got one two and three fans that come with a case you have the cables right here for the fans in the front panel and it looks very very spacious it looks like you can hook up a external cooling kit if you want to it. it. Looks like there's plenty enough room for that. So up here is your slots for your five and a half inch drives or CD-ROMs, DVDs, that type of stuff. Down here, you got your smaller slots for your hard drives. And it's very, very efficiently designed. It's very cool. And Looks like there's more than enough space for me to do what I want with this machine. I'm looking forward to this build. So on the other side, you can take off the other side panel, which I like. A lot of these desktops, you only can take off one side. I like the fact that you can take off both sides. I like the fact that you can take off both panels. It allows you access on the other side of the drives where you're not fighting with cables. The last case I had, you only had one panel that went off on the side. And when trying to do cable management, that was a challenge. So that is a very cool feature with this case. A few features I wish this desktop would come with was, a, the number one is a carrying handle. My previous desktop came with a carrying handle. It was about the same price as this cage. That made it very convenient for transporting it to other locations. Another feature that my previous case has that this does not is hinges on the side panels. That way the side would just swing open and I can access the stuff and then it swings right back into place. I mean, it's just a minor complaint. It's just something that would be nice to have. The actual construction on this does seem a little flimsy. The panels doesn't seem that thick. I'm gonna to have to watch it to make sure I don't bump anything into it or there's a good chance that it's gonna get dinked really easily. But other than that, that's my only concerns at this point. I'm pretty sure once I get into the build, it'll, there'll be some other features that I might add to it, or there'll be some features about it that I love. Overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. It's everything I wanted in a computer case, and it has the room. That was my biggest concern. I built computers, and I 
room and cable management was definitely an issue and I don't think I'm going to have that issue with this computer case. It has more than enough room to add everything that I ever want to this computer case. So I am very happy. I think it's well worth the money I spent on it. The price is comparable to what I spent on other computer cases so I'm not complaining about that and it, overall it just looks it looks pretty kick butt. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you follow this channel as I continue, as I create a series building this computer out. And then eventually I'll be editing my videos on here. So this is a little awesome feature in the user's manual and I wish I had this for my previous computer builds. It goes from start to finish on how to build your computer. I mean of course it doesn't give the technical specifics but it does tell you what you need to do. For example here opening the case, adding a power supply, motherboard installation and it just goes down the steps on what you need to do to have a functioning computer. Which is pretty sweet. I mean, most of that stuff you can Google online now, which is cool. But when I had this about 12, 15 years ago, that would have been nice to have. There was a lot of trial and error back then.